A special meeting by the city council is underway as they discuss a vaccine mandate for city of San Diego employees. This comes just days before a key deadline. News 8's Chris Groh is joining us live now with a closer look at what's at stake here. Good morning, Chris. And that key deadline again, December 1st. Well, what's happening right now is that does appear that public comment is over, which means the vote on item 601, which is that mandate there for the vaccine for city employees is currently taking place. So again, we'll be sure to let you know what the result of that vote is. But first, I want to play for you what San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria had to say prior to this meeting, again, pleading for his council members to go ahead and approve of today's items. Take a listen. As mayor, I cannot sit by and let COVID-19 continue to impact the services that our residents expect of us. Nor could I in good conscience put our city employees or the public at greater risk for transmitting or contracting COVID-19. I won't allow our first responders to potentially contract COVID-19 when responding to a resident's need for emergency services. I won't allow our library and recreation center employees potentially transmit or contract COVID-19 when trying to assist one of our residents at a library or a park or rec center. And so a big focus of today's public comment and, and even some of the discussion from council members has been on the police department. Currently, of the, uh, of the job titles essentially that are within the city's jurisdiction of those employees, the Police Officers Association is the only one that wasn't able to come to an agreement on the vaccine mandate with the city. In fact, one of the things that they went ahead and voted for uh, today was a resolution for the last and final and best offer towards the, that Police Officers Association. That is something that's city passed eight to one again moving forward potentially here with this mandate as their last offer to the union stood and what that means is that we could potentially see 37 percent of the police force without a job so what this means is that this mandate says any employee who does not get vaccinated is not provided with an exemption will face termination those who are not vaccinated by wednesday will get an advance notice of termination termination, which would give them 30 days to comply, take a leave of absence without pay, retire or resign, or again, they risk being fired. And the reason I bring up that 37% of the police force is that according to figures released by the city, 37% of those who belong to the Police Officers Association work for the city, 37% of them remain unvaccinated. It's more than 700 officers. Police Officers Association today said they're not against the vaccine, but they are against harming public safety in lieu of this mandate. Take a listen. POA is not against the vaccinations. However, the POA does not does believe that the net benefit of compelling a few unvaccinated police officers to become vaccinated is outweighed by the exodus of valuable police employees who will leave city employment. And something else that's happening right now just across the street at City Hall, we are seeing a group of San Diegans, uh, some of them again claiming uh, that they're from the group Reopen San Diego, organizing a protest just outside. Again, some of them, many of them, I should say, calling into public comment, upset that it was a virtual meeting, want their voices heard on this mandate. 